Welcome to the ATL, All Things Life. We are in our Fallelujah series, and we're going to turn these apples into this delicious, easy, no-fail apple pie. Y'all, this was so easy to make. Listen, this has been in the books for years for me. So we're gonna get right into this video. This is what's going to make the pie so easy because we are not making our pie crust. We're gonna get you some store-bought and that's okay because over here in the ATL, we wanna make things easy. Oh, and by the way, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Anywho, let's go ahead and get into this recipe and get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you get your apples cut and peeled. I used these two tools to get my apples cut and peeled. It was a fast and easy process. It took me no time at all. If you do not have these, that's okay, but make sure that you have no seeds, that you don't have no skin on your apples, okay? Now we're going to take our bowl and use that lemon juice and put into the bowl with the apples so that way they will not turn brown. And all of the other ingredients, you're just going to go ahead and get you a saucepan and pour them all in there together, no specific order. And you're gonna get them on the stove. And you're gonna turn the stove on a medium heat. Again, it does not matter when and what you put in. You're just gonna put them all in there and you're gonna get it nice and stirred up together. Once you get them nice and stirred up together, it's going to come up to a nice simmery boil like this. Let that simmer and boil for about four to five minutes or so. And when you see it turn into this thick, nice gooey consistency, you rocking and rolling. You about to get it started. You about to get it on and popping, okay? So we're gonna turn the stove off and we're gonna go ahead and pour our apples into it, get them nice and coated, and we're gonna put in that vanilla extract last. When you do that, let it go ahead and cool down, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with our pie crust. So go ahead, get both of those open, and go ahead and get your dish, what you're going to bake your pie in. I had this nine inch glass dish. I am no decorator. I love to bake, but when it comes to decorating, when it comes to making it beautiful and all of that kind of stuff, mm, I think I need some schooling. Right now, I was just ready to eat this pie. I wanted it and I wanted it now. So I just go ahead and put it in there, make sure that it was even. And then I took my other pie crust and I got a pizza cutter because we're gonna make a lattice on top of this pie. So go ahead and turn, take those uh, lines or lattice or whatever you wanna call it, place it to the side after you get done cutting it. And we're gonna take those apples that have cooled down and we're gonna put them in the pot. Not the pot, the crust, okay? Now, as you can see, I'm using a slotted spoon so all those juices won't go down to the bottom of the pie and make it soggy and crust and people be talking about you. No, we're gonna take that slotted spoon, drain it as much as we can and go ahead and pile those apples in. And you see that? I'm using the juice to pour on top because that's what makes the pie look so good and so delicious that people are not even gonna be able to resist and get them a piece, okay? So pour all of that on top. Now we're going to take our lattice and we're gonna spread a few strips across the pie. Now I don't know what I was doing. All I did was watch a couple of YouTube videos on how to do a lattice crust and it was, it seemed pretty easy. So I just tried it out. Y'all, I'm just trying this out on the on the camera. Do not think I practiced this. I don't know what I was doing, but to be honest, it came out pretty good. So this is how I made my lattice crust. And then with the extra edges, I just took it and I tucked it in because I didn't want, you know, the edges of my pie to look real raggedy over here in the ATL. We don't know how to decorate, but we're not gonna look raggedy either. And I just made some pinches. I don't know, it just looked good. So I just rolled with it. And I did that all across the pie. I kinda guess I looked at the dish and said, okay, this looks good. So I took that and I ran with it and made sure that it was done that way all around the pie. And when you get finished doing your edges, however you wanna do it, you're gonna get some egg wash, some egg 
one egg and some water and you're just gonna brush that all over your pie. Yes, this is a paintbrush. No, I've never painted with it. It is really new and this is gonna be my brush that I cook with, okay? Now this is going to make your crust golden brown and not dried out. So make sure that you do not miss that step. Now. We're gonna take some cinnamon and sugar and we're just gonna lightly sprinkle that on top of the pie because this is gonna give us a nice look to our pie and also a great taste to the top of our apple pie. And when we're done doing that, we're gonna put it in a preheated 350 degree oven and look at this delicious, appley, gooey, fresh, hot out of the oven apple pie. Look. Over here in the ATL, we want to make it easy for you and your family to enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday. So I wanted to bring this recipe to you today is an easy apple pie so that you can create those memories. Don't forget, go to my website, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm about to go and make me a cup of coffee and make me a slice of apple pie and enjoy this goodness and deliciousness. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.